We're heading now from the boardroom, pong pong merrily on high, to the kitchen now, <laughs> nice. and joining a group of students in Liverpool who are trying to impress their toughest critics yet. Yeah, but unlike Lord Sugar, the way to win this lot over is through their stomachs. Mm. In Miss Chinese restaurants in Liverpool, head chef Dave Critchley is prepping for a busy night ahead. Let's get some chicken skewers made for tonight, please. But this is no ordinary restaurant. If you learn to cook here, you'll come out with a diploma in Chinese culinary arts. This is the only high-end Chinese restaurant to offer a 15-month cooking diploma in a bid to find new chefs to combat the decline in people joining the industry. Traditionally, the restaurants have been handed down from generation to generation. We're now finding that the, the younger generation wants to go off and travel the world. They don't want to be pinned down by, this is my dad's business or my mum's business, this is what I must do. Previously, chefs could also easily be recruited from China, but immigration rules changed in 2014, making it more difficult for chefs outside the EU to work here. And Dave hopes this course will help the skills shortfall. Okay, how are we doing? Dave trained under a master chef in China and believes he's the first Westerner to do so. Now, he's passing that knowledge on to his first group of prodigies. Yeah. 20-year-old Charlotte saw the course advertised on Twitter and has been on it for just three weeks. Yep. My dad was a chef, he was now retired, and my mum owns her own catering company. And I'd always said, I'm not going to go into catering because I knew... How hard it is. I knew how hard it is, yeah. yeah, I knew how hard it is. But that's an incredible opportunity that not many people get. Yeah. Even learning about the Chinese culture is something completely different. 18-year-old Kevin is booking the trend by following in his parents' footsteps. My dad is like a chef in, Ch in like Chinatown. No. He worked 12 to 14 hour days and he's, he's pretty old as well. So my mum wants me to go into uni, do like, you know, the office stuff, just like so I can have an easy life and like in the future. So even though you saw your dad working all of those hours, are you still inclined that that's the route you want to go down? The rewards pay off. They are far better than if you do like an office job or something like you have a self of fulfillment like if you become like a top level chef Liverpool is home to a 10,000 strong Chinese community and some of them are here today to see how well the trainees can cook authentically we've got some local Chinese business delegates coming in which is really exciting so they can experience what we're doing and there's no pull in the wall over their eyes is there they'll know what it's meant to be like they'll know what it's meant to taste like Chef Dave and his trainees are cooking traditional dishes from the Tianjin region, and this crowd will be tough to please, so the pressure's on for the newbie chefs. When you've got the heads of the local Chinese community coming in, you know you've got to be on your A-game to get it right. If you need me to do anything, by the yeah. way, you know, just give me a shout. What are you laughing at? Hang on. <laughs> sort of. As the kitchen hot up, the anticipation builds in the dining room. What will you be looking for? You're looking for something that is well cooked and tastes good. Hopefully this East Midwest culture will blend well together and it will fly. How's it going Kev? No panic. Is it positive? Yeah, it's all positive okay. mate. It's all positive. <laughs> Wok smoked chicken, poached celery and Master Wang's noodles are all on the menu tonight. I'm quietly confident that uh, we're going to get a good reception from them. What if we don't? What happens then? Then we start again. Thankfully, the chefs don't have to refire anything, and the distinguished guests took in. Time for the verdict. Has it been a success? Colin, what do you think? Fantastic. Thank you so much. Everybody here appreciates what you've cooked there, um, and it's delicious. And hearing comments like that makes you want to continue, and it really excites you for the next service. If your dad was here, would they be proud, do you think? Yeah, they probably would be proud to us. Yeah? So, be happy for me. Can't thank you guys enough again. Thank you, Shishi. Thank you so much. Thank you. I certainly like to think that we can start something off here and show people what real Chinese cooking is about. You know, hardly any of this food looks like my typical Friday night takeaway, but with the local community giving it the thumbs up, could this be the start of a new wave of Chinese cooking? Thanks,
Evan. And you know, after watching that, I rather fancy for Christmas, instead of all the roast turkey, I fancy a Chinese feast. Oh, Christmas yes. Day! Yes, chopsticks in my stocking, that's what I'm asking oh, for. Oh, lovely. Mm. Lovely stuff. Well, gels, of course.